This year I've mourned the loss of what I thought my maternity leave would have been. I thought I'd be going on play dates with other moms and visiting with family and friends. I have just mourned the loss of close relationships in contact with people. Um, uh, we are still waiting to have Christmas when our kids can come over. So our tree still sits here and it has still got all the gifts under it. So I'm just missing the closeness of our family. I really am. One of them is missing my family and friends. I have a goddaughter out in Arthur, Ontario. She has three kids, two of which are uh, twin boys. And I just feel like the transition between them being kids and being teenagers is the time that we've lost with them. I'm a little fearful of what our visit's going to be like next time we see each other. I've mourned the loss of uh, being with friends and connecting with friends on a consistent basis and uh, participating in the things that give me life, like recreation. Certainly what I've mourned, I think, travel. One of the things for me um, is, is travel. I, lo I love to travel, I love to explore, I love to visit new places. And it was harder for me in many ways because in the last year, both my mother and my mother-in-law passed away. And both of them being England, I couldn't travel there to see them. And that, that was one of the hardest things in my life. I have mourned this year my need for control, the loss of family members, the loss of special moments. I waited a lifetime to become a grandma and my granddaughter was born and I wasn't able to meet her or hold her or spend time with her. I could see pictures, but it's not the same as experiencing that hands-on moment of saying hello, welcome, we love you. Something that I have mourned this year is theater and being able to perform and being able to be in an audience full of people. What have you lost the most in the last year, my babe? Hmm. Her suits. Yeah? And she, a lot of people, play dates, going areas, going trips, swimming. It actually feels like a relief to be able to speak about this past year in terms of loss and mourning because I think that's exactly part of the process that the whole planet has been through. I think spontaneity had its wings clipped and that's been tough for me. So many things were going beautifully for our family, our rhythms were finally coming together after our immigration and we were starting to feel hopeful about making this work in the future. So lockdown took a lot of wind out of our sails in that regard and it's been a scurry to try and recalibrate and reroute and just adapt to survive how our world has required us to survive this last year. Something that has given me life this year is community. So many people have just come together and banded together in this time and uh, I've loved that I've been able to lead groups of young people. I've enjoyed the long walks that I've gone on with my wife. Every weekend for the past few months, uh, we've gone on a long walk around Chestermere and it's just been nice to be able to connect. My family has given me life and also my loss of control has given me life, learning how to be still in God. I've also learned a tremendous amount from people who are within my own community. Um, just listening to them and learning from them and I just feel that in so many ways I have been blessed. Prayer has definitely sustained me and my family. Red wine has definitely sustained us and I think the thoughtfulness of our friends. The fact that life can slow down and be just as wonderful. I've really enjoyed the quietness that it has afforded me. What kept you going in this past year when things have been tough? TV! <laughs> and holding Lego a lot? Time has given me life. I have this new uh, appreciation for not saving things for special occasions and using them. I feel like I can live life a lot fuller than I used to. I'm not holding anything back anymore. Being outside. Um, I've always loved being outdoors, but just being able to go for a walk with a friend 
or sitting around the campfire with some family. And I see people with this anticipation, the sense of hope that they're looking for something new. My sense is at the end of this, we're gonna have deeper relationships than we had before. We're gonna know how to value people more than we did before. And I think that's one of the greatest gifts that we may be given through this crazy year that we've had. He is risen. 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 He is risen.